So we're on the Vodafone stand about to talk airspace intrusion technology and the man tasked with telling us everything and walking us through the sensing API demo is Marco Zangani. How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. Okay, so talk me through what you're demoing today and why it's so important. Uh, it is important because it shows how the, the network equipment, our network can be used not just for communication but also for other purposes uh, like sensing and uh, spotting objects that can uh, enter into specific zones. It is used as a radar and then through our te API technology this can be made available to applications for security reasons or other important, let's say, aspects and use cases. So basically you can see here we have, uh, suppose we have like in a port in an area our um, 5G node bees, 5G base stations, mm -hmm. they can act as a radar. So basically we can launch uh, the demo we ask the system to classify objects that can be land, sea, air, let's say, in, the, in those domains, basically. And um, you see the objects here, no? basically. The, um, our network nodes, uh, they act as a radar, so the, the signals are reflected by the objects. The objects are identified, and then, basically, they, we can also, with uh, using generative AI, so through the, some signatures, we can identify whether they are drones, uh, boats, uh, vehicles, uh, and we can also activate a use case like an off-fly zone. For security reasons, we, we, we can identify objects that fly into a, an off-fly zone. They might be authorized. If they're not, uh, the actions can be taken. So here you see the combination of future radio technologies future core network and our API, let's say, ecosystem that we have built together with partners. We have our people coding the, the, and preparing those use cases that can be then made uh, available to customers who want to use that. Yes, so we're talking about identifying um, objects that are in airspace, land, sea, that kind of thing, using AI to actually identify what those objects are. Yes, are. If they're harmful or they uh, authorize, this yes. is basically the use case. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And talk me through some of the use cases that this is going to be really beneficial for in the real world. Yeah, it could be like security, like intrusion of airspace or also uh, sea, sea area, just for security reasons. It could be for traffic control, like if you have many objects, you can then direct them in the proper way. Mm -hmm. Basically, these are, I mean, the, the main ones that we are foreseeing. And then when the good thing is that when we, this information is made available to customers, the other applications can be really devised. No? So creativity is basically at play for services to be devised. But basically those that I have um, talked about are the most relevant, the ones we have already identified. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is a fantastic demo and a fantastic use case of technology. So thank you so much for taking the time to share with us. All right. Bye. <laughs>